and we'll be keeping an eye on these guys this morning. The first ospreys to breed on Britain's south coast in 200 years. It's just a good excuse to show you this lovely live shot from Dorset. The sun is out, but what you're looking at there is a man-made nest in pool, and you might just be able to make it. Can we see? Yes, we can. Yeah. Right at the top, a pair of ospreys. We uh, can see one. Oh, yeah, there's one head. It's the sun, isn't it? Mm. There we are, peeking out at the top, uh, hoping to become a parent. Yeah, if their he eggs hatch. It's kind of like just watch and wait, isn't it? And they will be the first ospreys to breed in the south of England in 200 years. So we are pretty excited about this. Do you know what? Now. Talking about battles, battles to survive, battles to get on top. Yes. You know, there hasn't been um, an osprey bred in the south of England in 200 years. Did you know that? No, wow. No, so, I didn't. That's incredible. This is why, take a look. Yes. This is... Um, an osprey, this is, there, is a pair, there is a pair of ospreys, hopefully, hopefully, about to become parents. They've got some eggs. Ooh. And I don't know what they're feeding because we're waiting for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, uh, we're told three eggs were laid yesterday, but they'll take 37 days Ooh. to incubate. Um, and so hoping that the offspring will become parents. We should say this is a man-made nest as well. There were two sites that uh, the authority thought they may be able to breed in. They, when they returned from the migration, they didn't go to the first one and they've gone instead to this second, this man-made one. Uh, but it looks like perhaps they're lining that They're nest lining, feathering the nest, aren't rather they? Rather than it, it being the man-made stuff. Exactly. They're making it a bit cosier yeah. and a bit nicer. Never as good as if it's not natural, no, is it? But, there you uh, go, Mike. A long wait, 37 days. That's wonderful. Isn't it? I've got to wait that time, though. Or Weather. could it be any time, I suppose? Time flies. Yeah. Time flies. Uh, <laughs> and when you're feathering your nest. <laughs> Good morning. Um, now, before we get the weather uh, for the bank holiday weekend with Louise, uh, let's take you to Dorset. Uh, and it's not normally a, a shot that we show you, but it's pretty special this morning. This is a man-made nest. Uh, it's in pool, and a pair of ospreys are hopefully about to become parents. So we say it's a man-made nest. They were supposed to nest in another one, but they chose not to, and they've decided on this. And we've been watching all morning as the osprey there has been doing a better job, feathering the nest and making it look a little bit better. And if you're concerned about the camera shot, we understand <laughs> that um, there's a lack of headroom because the ospreys, the pair of ospreys, which there are eggs, aren't there? There are three, three. aren't there? Um, uh, were mating on the camera and so um, knocked the camera but I'm sure it can be corrected at some point. Anyway, Louise, I thought you'd enjoy that little bit of information. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly too much information there, Maga. <laughs> Never. How are you? Very tactfully put. <laughs> Thank you. This is something just beautiful. Ospreys, which you can never argue with anyway. Not because uh, that you argue with them, uh, argue uh, about. Oh, goodness. No way were you chatting to them. <laughs> They're on the brink of breeding in the south of England for the first time in 200 years. Uh, let's show you the live picture now. Uh, you see one of them there. Um, and this is a man-made nest. Uh, it's in Pool in Dorset. Uh, we're told there's a pair of ospreys, uh, and they potentially could become parents. Uh, they're waiting for three eggs that were laid yesterday. They're waiting for those It's going to take hatch. some time. Yes, 37 uh, days, 37 days uh, well, for them to incubate. All of this is down to the hard work of a charity um, called the Birds of Paul Harbour. And Liv Cooper is from that organisation and joins us now. Liv, morning to you. Morning. Good morning. Um, so, thank you for having us. Um, thank you for having, letting us have access to the Osprey Cam. So tell us what's happening today and then we'll work backwards as to how it's all been set up. Well, it's a really romantic occasion at the moment because yesterday as you just mentioned we had the arrival of the third egg um, which was laid um, by this pair which is just set up um, on a nest in the Pool Harbour area and for us we've been waiting for this moment for years to have a, a breeding attempt and then as you mentioned in 37 days time we're going to be able to see whether that has been successful um, which will be the first breeding first successful breeding in nearly 200 years on the south coast so it's a huge huge moment for us. Um, we're looking Sorry, uh, Liv, I was saying, we're looking at the camera now. So um, tell us a little bit about what we can see, because this nest is a man-made one, and that's important, isn't it? Just explain the significance of that. Yeah, so ospreys, they're a migratory 
species, they travel 4,000 kilometres each year to West Africa and back to the UK to come back to breed. Um, but for birds that travel so far, they're quite lazy in terms of where they like to set up their nests. So they like to have nests provided for them that they can then go and build on themselves. So what we do is we set up lots of these nests around, around the area um, and try to attract them in. So we're doing a reintroduction project down here and that goes hand in hand by setting up those nests to kind of try and bring them into those nests. And that's exactly what's happened. So on the camera, you can see there's like there's an artificial base to the nest, but actually those birds, they've built it up by nearly double the amount. And those nests can grow up to the size of a double bed um, during the course of the year. So they come back to the same nest every, every year and keep building on it as part of their courtship. I think you're doing them a disservice by calling them lazy. They've done all that work. They're actually quite clever. Why, yeah, do, why do to a double bed size? Yeah, and why why bother doing it if humans are going to do the work for them? That's what I just think. They're very very. I clever. know that's very true, isn't it? Um, so um, this couple, um, how long have, how long have they been together? Um, what I don't want the whole dating history. Obviously, Ben's laughing at me, but you know, how long do they stay together? How, and how established are they? Well, the, the female on the nest, CJ7, she's actually, um, she's had a much longer history with us. Um, she's been coming to Port Harbour since 20, um, 2017, and she was attracted by the birds we're releasing in the reintroduction project. So that's really exciting. She's actually from Rutland, um, but she's come down here being attracted to the area. And we've been waiting since then to have a male come up, come back and set up as a pair with her. Lovely so long distance. last year we were absolutely, yeah, yeah. Long so distance relationship, ecstatic. fabulous. Um, so they've yeah, progressed from, from candlelight and, and, you know, kind of red wine dinners to uh, this was a picture of them coming in earlier. And this is dad bringing some fish back, I believe. So now it's dad's responsibility to look after mum. Is that how it works? Yeah, so as soon as they set up, um, the female will be protecting the nest, protecting the eggs, and it's the ma male's responsibility to do all the fishing for himself, for her, and then eventually the chicks. But he's he's a really young male still. We only released him back in 2019, and he's really got a kick into the right spirit of um, providing all that um, food for them. And for the first time this morning, he's been incubating the eggs, so he's stepping up. He's stepping up to the mark now, which is really good. That's fabulous. OK, so what happens? It's got 37 days for, of incubation. What happens in terms of when the babies come, when the babies hatch? How long do they stay there? Um, you know, till they're fledglings, till they go? What happens? Yeah, so they actually they hatch at, um, a similar size to a hen's egg. And within the space of eight weeks, they grow to a 1.3 metre wingspan or so. So the male has to constantly be providing fish for them at that time. And at about seven, eight weeks of age, we'll see them fledge for the first time, which with the first wild fledged ospreys in Pearl Harbor in 200 years. Um, and then they'll explore, they'll explore the local area for the next month, which means that they're kind of recognizing Pearl Harbor as home. So hopefully in a couple of years later, they'll come back to Pearl Harbor to breed for themselves. Here's hoping. Uh, Liv, it's been fascinating to talk to you. Thanks for explaining all of that and for letting us have a look at your camera there um, and keep an eye on these Ospreys. Uh, good luck. Keep us posted and we'll speak to you soon.